Uh, Uber is teaming up with GM's Cruise as it looks to expand driverless rides. The deal comes at a crucial time for the autonomous vehicle company as it looks to resume trips after a 2024 in 2023 incident that stopped operations there. Uh, Deirdre Bosa has more in today's Tech Check. Good afternoon, D. Hey, Dom, that's right. Critical time for Cruise. And that may be why Uber shares actually fell on the announcement. Cruise is a very complicated partner. In addition to what you just mentioned, it just recalled nearly 1,200 robo-taxis over a heartbreaking issue. There's ongoing investigations by the DOJ and the SEC following an incident here in San Francisco where one of its robo-taxis dragged a pedestrian. So some are saying that some of that crew stigma rubs off on Uber with a partnership, though Uber shares are recovering a little bit today. Cruise is far from the only autonomous partner Uber has signed up, though. In recent years, there's Aurora, Waymo, Volvo. And on the last earnings call, Dara teased more to come. He said we're in late stage discussions with additional global AV players to join our platform. We'll have more announcements in the coming weeks and months. So we'll be on the lookout for that. But I do want to say overall, this is very different. Dara Khosrowshahi's approach very different than the one that Uber's co-founder and previous CEO believed was critical. Travis Kalanick, remember him? He wanted to develop driverless technology in-house. And if he didn't, they said that they would face an existential threat from the Waymos and Cruises of the world. So this is a real departure. Dara Khosrow Shahi choosing instead to partner with them, which is a much, much cheaper way to go about this. But Dom, I've been riding a ton of Waymo robo taxis in San Francisco. You do not go through the Uber app like you do if you were to hail a ride share in Phoenix, for example. So you could see a world in which Waymo just takes out the middleman, takes out Uber. And that's really sort of one of the bear cases against the ride sharing platforms is that they could ultimately be squeezed out if robo taxis take off in a huge way. Uh, it wasn't as fancy or as forceful and momentum driven as the AI trade right now, but autonomous driving and robotics was a massive theme not that long ago. What exactly was the main reason in your mind why the momentum has just really slowed down for this particular story around autonomous riding and taxis? I think it's so interconnected with the AI trade, right? It, loses, it uses a lot of the same technology. Google's been developing this for a long time. They also happen to be leaders in generative AI. There's a lot of overlap. So again, I think it's just a coming back down to earth, realizing that monetization, revenue, that's still far away. We're still in the very early innings. And while we're there, this is going to be very, very expensive to develop, just like generative AI. All right. D. Bosa with today's Tech Check on Uber and Cruise's partnership. Thank you very much.